Hi, welcome to another episode of Youth Diary. Today we are going to discuss a few common urologic problems. And to help us we have Dr. George P. Abraham with us. He is a senior consultant urologist and transplant surgeon at Kochi. Hello doctor, welcome to our show. Doctor, can you just explain us what are the common urologic problems that we seen in youth? In youngsters use, usually they will have a lot of psychological problem. Without knowing it properly, they will have a lot of doubts in their minds. And considering that, they will have a lot of uh, doubts and some uh, suspicious things and some problems, in the psychological problems will arise. That is very common in youngsters. Then comes uh, some disease pertaining to youngsters. One of the most common disease seen in youngsters are the stone disease. It is very common because of their life habit, uh, without taking much fluids, and because they are very busy in earning money in the life, then they will forget about all other things, they will not take much water, they will not give concentration on their life pattern. And that will lead to a lot of uh, diseases, mainly the stone disease commonly seen. Okay, Doctor, we will go to the questions. Hi, Mansa, I am from Tamil Nadu. Uh, I am doing uh, visual media in Amrita College of Arts and Science. I just wanted to know what is uh, what do you mean by uh, urology department and the difference between urology and nephrology. Okay. So she has asked about uh, uh, what is urology and what is the difference between urology and nephrology. Urology is otherwise called genitourinary surgery. That means that is covering the ur urinary system as well as the genitalia system. The urinary system we know that that starts from the kidney, then the urine is coming from the kidney by ureter into the bladder, it's a small tube. In the bladder, urine is stored in the bladder, then after that it goes out through the urethra. So kidney, ureter, bladder and urethra, that involves the urinary system. This urine passes through the genitalia, that is why that is also included, genitourinary system. Genitalia contains, we know, the sex organs. Through that the urine also passes and genitalia functions. So any disease pertaining to this urinary system and the genitalia is dealt with the genitourinary surgeons, that is urologists. But uh, the, as you asked, there is a difference between urology and nephrology. These urologists are surgeons. They can operate and correct all the problem. Nephrologists are not surgeons. They are physicians. They can only treat these by medically. But they are physicians. They cannot operate. They can treat them. So kidney disease, other urinary disease, all diseases are treated by uh, physicians, by medicines. But then a common, co common thing where these urologists and nephrologists come in kidney transplant. If both, if both kidneys fail completely, then the treatment is dialysis is only one part of the thing. That means all the base products are removed from the blood and the new blood, the purified blood is uh, recirculated into the body. That is called dialysis. And that is done by nephrologist. But urologist, but uh, dialysis alone cannot solve the problem. Both kidneys have failed. Then we will have to do a transplant. We will have to put one more new good kidney into the body. That is called transplant. But there, uh, all the preparations, evaluation, everything will be usually done by the nephrologist. When the surgery comes, we will see them and see whether that patient is fit for transplant, whether we can operate, whether we can take the kidney and do the surgery and give the best outcome. The urine should come, kidney should function properly and there should not have any complication. If any complications come, that also to be dealt by urologist. Once everything is settled, then again the medical management that has to be continued by the nephrology and they have to continue and continuous evaluation is done by nephrology. So that is the basic difference between nephrologist and urologist. Urologists are surgeons, they can correct all the problems by surgically and then give the treatment. Nephrologists treat them all conditions that has to be treated by medically, they will treat them and that is the difference between urologist and nephrologist. Uh, what about these youth? Can they uh, receive or can they uh, transplant? I mean, donate a 
ideally youth are the best to give the kidney because you they have the best kidney the good kidney good functioning without any disease that is the state where we have to donate our kidney there are certain rules because in youngsters if there is teenagers or youngsters if they are not married in that age group usually we will not take because they should be matured enough to donate a kidney they should know the complications or the dealing they should support their family considering all these factors usually above the age of 25 only usually we take but in an accident for example cadaver kidney transplant in youngsters teenage if that happens we take that kidney but voluntarily donating usually after the age of 25 we will consider them up to the age of 50 they can give they can give but before donating blood donation is another very common thing anybody can just go and give the blood there is no much problem age bar but this organ donation usually between this age group what we have to do we have to evaluate the patient completely do all the tests and to make sure that he is not a patient he is an absolutely healthy individual only an absolutely healthy individual out of it we have to prove that there are two good kidneys are there only if two good kidneys are there we will take only one kidney for donation now, other good kidney has to be there for the person who is donating the kidney and this kidney what we are taking that should be good for the transplanted patient also it should function properly so one kidney is enough for a uh, good life either for donor or for the recipient so youngsters that can give kidney and that is the best kidney not an elderly age group not a teenage or younger age group the, the middle age is the best kidney they can donate Doctor, you mentioned about the cadaveric uh, transplantation, yeah. uh, but uh, all these uh, prerequisites, all these criteria, what you have mentioned, cannot be implemented in this cadaveric. cadaveric. Uh, so, what is the procedure in that, doctor? See, cadaver transplant uh, only very recently the awareness has come up significantly, and a lot of kidney transplant, organ donation, organ transplant is happening only very recently. Mm -hmm. Previously, uh, Four, five years ago, it was not so common. Very rarely one cadaver transplant was taking place. But here what happens is that once an accident happens, mm -hmm. if the brain injury occurs, right. and uh, uh, once the brain is totally dead, we have to prove that brain is dead by some apnea test. Okay. That, is, that patient will be on ventilator. The life is maintained only by ventilator as well as certain medicines. Okay. Because our uh, central government is the brain that controls the whole body, regulating everything. Once that is out, that is gone, we can maintain that life only for some hours only. After that, all system will failure and the patient ultimately will go to death. So his heartbeat, blood pressure is maintained by ventilation and medicines. Once you switch off that ventilator, immediately brain will be, no, brain already dead, all other system will stop. So that is one of the important tests. That will take uh, two, three tests will be done, prove that that patient cannot survive. Then only we will ask for organ donation. At that time, once the circulation heartbeat stops, every organ will immediately, uh, that will become decayed. So that cannot be used. Before that, once the brain dead this happens and before the heartbeat stops, that some hours are there. There we ask for whether you are willing for uh, cadaver donation. There, if they are willing, immediately we will prepare the, uh, the recipients and uh, we will take out these organs and that can be uh, given for kind of transplant. But before that, again, we will take some test whether that organs are good for uh, transplanting the other thing, basic test. But even after taking that organ also, we will do, we will see and whether thing, the artery, vein, other things, everything is good. If it is totally gone, if it cannot be transplanted, we will not take that organ. Otherwise, we can take. Some essential basic tests will be done before, within that few hours, it will be done and it will take. And it is becoming more common and popular now.